Hi, welcome to Unplug with Araldo and Darren. We have a great show for you today. Actress, producer, and activist Priyanka Chopra Jonas will be joining us a little later on, and we have internationally renowned photographer Nigel Barker. Many of you know him as one of the judges on the hit show, America's Next Top Model. But first, we have my sidekick of the super <laughs> outstanding podcast, Martinis and Murder. Okay. I'm a little biased since I'm also the co-host and producer mm -hmm. of the podcast, but John Thrasher is in the house. <laughs> Hi, John, John Thanks for having me. don't say any of my secrets that we talked about, remember? They're Professional all, today. All tucked Professional away in today. My, yes, we're all tucked away in my pocket, no well, worries. Well, on our podcast, I, yes. make, I tease you quite a bit. You have, yes. I, I like to say he has nerdy interests. He watched Avengers Endgame, he likes Harry Potter. Right. He doesn't watch Game of Thrones. Neither do I. What is wrong right here, with right you? Here. Yes. I don't know. 20 million people watch <laughs> the finale and neither well, one of them. Wait, 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 19 million 998 yes. because if me and John didn't watch it. That I know. That's true. I mean, like, are you, this seems like right up your alley. I don't understand why you don't watch it. I get this a lot because I love Harry Potter. I love dragons. Yeah. I love superheroes. So uh, hello. listen, I just never got into it in right. the, the first season, Araldo and I were yeah. busy doing things. Well, the, the series finale was, was uh, yes. a few Sundays ago mm -hmm. and it was, I thought it was pretty good, but people Positive. go up in arms about this stuff. Is there any yeah. series finale that you guys hated or loved and you were like disappointed from the series? The best season mm. finale for me ever, yeah. Six Feet Under. Oh. Have you ever seen it? Under. Martinis and Murder podcast, it makes sense. It yeah. makes sense. It's all it death related. What about it delivered for you? Um, I just thought it was a nice button on the episode. Everyone's storyline got cleaned up. Mm -hmm. The music was, in, if I ever need a good cry, right. I YouTube the like last nine minutes of Six <laughs> Feet Under. What about you? Mm, the last finale. I like Seinfeld. Listen, I'm a Seinfeld fan. I've, so what do you I'm think a of friend, the finale? Friend, I thought it was wonderful. Okay. Uh, I mean, you know, Game of Thrones, maybe I should have started watching. I don't know. I'm, I don't know. I'm disappointed <laughs> in both of you. Can I quit the show? Like, can I just walk out? We'll take over. It's we'll fine. take over? Yeah. You guys don't know who Daenerys is. You need to know who Daenerys Targaryen is. I do know who she is. I just know the pop culture references. Fair. Yeah. And I did watch my first episode. It was like the second to last episode. Not knowing anything about it, <laughs> and I loved it. I loved so it, maybe right? I should get into it. Great yeah. way to start. Great way to start. It's yeah. funny because John, she's like, um, I hate to cut you off. No, go for it. But I want to ask you oh, how no. you yes. and Darren. Yeah. This is a good together. question. How we got together? It's a lot. It's kind of a long story, but. We work together, we both work at Bravo and Oxygen, and um, internally our offices merge, and then we ended up doing red carpet work for Darren for Bravo, myself mm. for Oxygen, and we yes. met on the on the red carpet at an NBCU upfront, like, when was that, five or six years ago? Yeah, now. we hit it off pretty immediately. He was yeah. in his Google glasses. That's right. <laughs> and yes. we were messing around on the carpet and just had like really good chemistry, and, yeah. and what you guys don't know about John is he had, correct me if I'm wrong now, John, the sure. number one Harry Potter and Glee podcast. Wow. Just the Glee podcast. Just the Glee, but you were part of Mugglecast. I thought, are you? Like... I knew some people there, and I worked exactly. on some things. Yeah, yeah. So he kind of had the the skills necessary. I love fandom, so this it was a great it was a great experience doing those things. Of course, yeah. of course. Can you give us a little background? I mean, I kind of know the story, but like. Listen, Martinis and Murder, it seems pretty obvious. Mm -hmm, Tell mm -hmm. us how you came to it with me, right. because you're coming in yeah. from the Oxygen side and I'm coming in from the Bravo side. Right, well, Darren and I had been doing a podcast together for about, what, a year and a year and a half, yeah. uh, an all topics pop culture podcast. And right around uh, the year one year mark, Oxygen transitioned from a reality TV network to a true crime network completely. And you can't be a true crime network without having a true crime podcast. So exactly. they exactly, sort of right. tapped me to um, start looking into how we could develop a podcast. Darren and I already had such great chemistry. We had a right. whole year's worth of a podcast previously. It just felt like a natural fit. And I think based on our, our personalities, we were able to deliver a podcast that feels a little bit more digestible, I guess right. you could say, than a lot of the heavier stuff. We we talk about the cases and we're very respectful to victims Definitely. and and everything that's involved with the tragedy of these cases, but we do so in a way that won't leave you sort of having nightmares at the end of the night, hopefully. Right. You know what was I mean? Was there ever um, an interview or somebody you interviewed that was a little bit of a challenge? 
maybe to both of you, maybe, I don't know. <sighs> That's a good question. Right? I think, you know, we've had people like Dave Holloway, who is the father of uh, missing woman Natalie Holloway. Oh, okay. We interviewed him, and that was our first kind of challenge in that yeah. it wasn't an expert, it wasn't somebody who works in true crime. Right. This is someone who had lost a victim. A victim, yeah. Essentially, right. he's a victim as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sometimes John and I do these live podcasts right. um, for an audience, and actually recently we did the Susan Cox Powell case. And if you're not familiar, John can kind of yeah. give you a little overview there because okay. we actually talked yeah. to the victim's parents as well. Mm -hmm. uh, but tell us about like our, our live, live show, shows. yeah, and how yeah, we prepare please. for that because I feel like that's important. Yeah, well, our live shows have really grown. Yeah. I think our first live show we played to about what was it, 75 people at Caroline's on Broadway, which oh. is an iconic of venue. Course. Oh yeah, yes. I mean oh, to. Yeah. Kick off our live shows at Caroline's. You, can't ask for anything better than you know that. what I mean? <laughs> and as a as a stand-up comedy fan, just seeing our faces with the Caroline's background, that was exciting. We took a lot of social media. We posts. did. <laughs> we I'm did. Sure you have. We did. But as our show has grown, we've obviously our audience has grown, and uh, we recently did a show at the Gramercy Theater with yeah. a true crime festival, and we sold that theater out, which was really exciting. And it's just so great to see fans um, feel like they're getting a payoff and being able to come see us live and and enjoying our personalities with the true crime benefits as well in a live studio or a live audience mm. is just a lot of fun. We, we had a lot of fun in that last one especially. So it's been on the air for a year, right? Two, two and years. a half, I wow. think. Wow, yeah. two and a half yeah, years. We've been, we've been going. Time flies. We have a lot of interviews and a lot of, yeah. of episodes in our docket, which is good. Definitely. Wow, yeah. is there something that you are having covered yet that you'd like to cover yet or something? Maybe you're looking... I don't know, I'm trying That's to... That's a good uh, question. You know, right? we haven't properly done Charles Manson yet. Oh boy. And that's one that Darren, I know, is particularly interested, as yes. you can see with her reaction. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I think Very we're, we're going to be planning some things, I think, around Charles Manson, which is an, obviously an iconic... You know, everyone knows that story, but... Right. You know, I'm curious, John, because I know you grew up in Maryland, yeah. and we always talk about Adnan Sayed, who was famous mm -hmm. from the Serial mm -hmm. podcast, okay. uh, and he is in prison near, right by yeah. where you grew up. Yeah. Was that the first case that got you into murder, or what really got you into true crime? That's a good question. You know, working at Oxygen since around 2012, we had always have had Snapped on air, which is still running right. strong. Right. It's in its, like, still do. 25th season, I believe, right now. Wow. Yeah. Um, so I had always loved Snapped, and who doesn't love Snapped? Come on, it's like the OG true crime show. <laughs> Um, but, uh, yeah, I think it was Serial that kind of launched, especially in our industry as, as the true crime podcasts go, it was the podcast that, I mean, I think they had like 10 million downloads a month or something crazy oh, like that. Sanity, yeah, yeah, it's it's a crazy, uh, crazy popular. And it really um, launched people into realizing that there's a huge market out there, frankly, for people that want to consume true crime. But... Um, yeah, Adnan Syed is un uh, unfortunately being uh, held in a prison in my hometown. So there's yes. all these like mm -hmm. weird connections, and we've since become friends with people connected to that case. Um, that is definitely one that I found myself on Reddit into the wee hours of the night, which I'm sure a lot of you watching <laughs> were probably doing that Not too. Not doing your day right. job. I know, boy. that's right. Sleeping a little too hard after those, yes. So John, before we go, yeah. tell us where people can tune in on Martinis and Murder. Martinis and Murder is available. You can go to oxygen.com. You can find it anywhere you listen to podcasts. Yep. Just type in Martinis and Murder and you'll see our faces pop up. Well, you could not have paired up with a better co-host than I agree. Than Darren. Thanks, you guys, guys are amazing. Yes. I feel do. bad making fun of you for Game of Thrones now. <laughs> Geraldo and I are going to go watch it after. Oh, yeah. Give we'll it up on both of you. Yeah. Yeah. Still to come, we have actress Priyanka Chopra Jonas. Stay with us. We'll be right back.